Once upon a time, there was a crow, who, when sitting in a tree, saw down below a delicious piece of gorgonzola cheese. That would be nice for tea, she said. Yes, please. A hungry fox was roaming on the prowl. He'd smelt the cheese and saw the feathery fowl swoop down upon it and, with grace and ease, scoop up. The delicious piece of smelly cheese. Oh no! He sighed. Now this calls for a plan. I want that cheese, and I'll get it if I can. So, in a cunning, cheeky kind of way, he began to offer compliments and say, "You beautiful, elegant, graceful, charming bird." With the sweetest song the world has ever heard, please sing for me and do so at your leisure, for your singing would give me the greatest pleasure. Now her feathers quivered, and the crow was flattered. To be beautiful was all that ever mattered. With her chest puffed out to show that she was proud, she opened up her beak and cawed quite loud. Oh dear! You've dropped your cheese," the fox responded, and with it in his mouth, he then absconded. The crow was shocked to find she'd now no tea. The cause she knew was foolish vanity. The moral of this tale is plain to see: don't fall foul to cunning flattery. Wow! Someone is very lucky to have such a delicious breakfast. Who is going to get it? Hedgehog, crow, or owl? Try to guess. The crow is lucky. She gets the cheese for breakfast. What a wonderful day! It's not often that I get delicious cheese as a gift. Who is this? A sly fox who wants the cheese for his breakfast. My dear crow, you look pretty today. What's the secret? I've never seen such lovely eyes like yours.、Mm -hmm. What beautiful soft feathers you have!、Mm -hmm. Please sing to me in your sweet and gentle voice, <coughs> silly crow. Did you think you have a wonderful voice? Don't trust anyone who flatters you. I'm off to eat now. A lie begins where a truth ends. I was foolish to trust the fox. Now I have nothing to eat. I'll look for something else to eat in the forest. A young hare once boasted how fast he could run. He was agile, long-legged, and out for some fun. So he teased an old tortoise about his slow pace. But the tortoise surprised him and asked for a race. If you think you can beat me, you're out of your mind! Jeered the hare, who was really very unkind. Yes, I could win," said the tortoise. "Name the time and the place." The hare thought this amusing and laughed in his face. But he agreed to the race and the place it was set. An announcement was made in the country gazette. The animals gathered all out for the day. Excitement arose when the race got under way. The hare and the tortoise were set on their marks. The pistol was fired, and it shot out some sparks.
In a great cloud of dust, the hare ran off at some speed. It was obvious to all he was well in the lead. The tortoise then coughed, wiped the dust from his face, then set off quite steadily at a moderate pace. He didn't worry that hare could run very fast. The test would be whether or not he could last. The hare, with his racing, had made himself hot, so he stopped under a tree in a cool, shady spot. He thought, "Why should I rush? I'm certain to win." So he laid down for a rest, fell asleep with a grin. Meanwhile, the old tortoise plodded steadily on, neither stopping nor resting as he went along. He passed by the hare, and then, oh yes, indeed, it wasn't hare but old tortoise who was now in the lead. The crowd saw him and cheered. The noise woke up the hare. To see the race won by tortoise was more than he could bear. He took off in a fury when he realized his fate, but the tortoise was first. He was simply too late. Slow but sure wins the race. Is the moral of this tale? Take things steadily and moderately, and you'll never fail. I'm proud to be fast and light-footed. Those who can't run fast are really unlucky. How do you manage, tortoise? I might be slow, but I'm always on time. You can't be on time if you're slow. Let's have a contest to see who reaches the mountain first. I accept, hare. Nightingale, can you be the judge? Sure. Please take your places. On your marks, get set, go. Good luck, tortoise. <laughs> Good luck, hare. Remember, slow but steady wins the race. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm already halfway, but tortoise is so far behind. I'll take a nap. There are many stones on the road. Shall we remove them so I can walk faster? Let's help tortoise remove all the stones from the track. This stone, this stone was a hurdle. Thanks again for your help. The track is clear now. Thank you. The bridge is broken. Can you help her to repair it? We need to find all the wooden parts. Right. Thank you. The bridge is as good as new now. Thanks. You are a great helper. Tortoise is approaching the finish line, but where is Hare? Ah, he is sleeping under the tree. Let's wake him up. What's the matter? While you slept, Tortoise won the race. That's not fair. I was faster. I lost the race because I napped. Discipline matters more than speed in a contest. Tortoise is the winner. I try to be always on time and finish what I've started.